lending for church loans, as as it has for all loans, has changed dramatically since the economic changes uh, that we've incurred. One of the major changes they've made is that uh, loan to value uh, now has to be 70% or less. Uh, another thing that they're very interested in seeing is that uh, the church has enough cash flow to to finance, and uh, they don't put as much stock in uh, commitments in a capital stewardship campaign as they used to. Uh, they used to uh, credit. In fact, if you're running a capital stewardship campaign that's going to be a significant part of your funding, uh, sometimes they want to see some of that funding coming in before they actually make a loan on that cash flow. So uh, those are some differences. Purchasing land, they uh, they don't like to lend as much on 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 raw acreage as they do on on uh, a site where you're going to put a building or where you've got a building built. So there are some things to uh, to to be cognizant of when you're thinking about lending. It's not as simple as it used to be. Uh, one of the things you'll want to do is create is is to establish a relationship with a lender early, and get a uh, um, a, le a, capa a lending capacity letter, uh, so that you know what you're able to borrow, and uh, you can you can put a better financial plan together as to what your affordability is for your for your new facility.